I started dancing without the music. <laughs> How are we doing? Sorry I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Fangs? You alright? Yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm over an hour late, but uh, this is the week where I have to go actually into the office rather than working from home, so uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully the... Um, uh, I'm doing alright, I'm still a little tired from the weekend, I'm still recovering from, uh, from Saturday night uh, and the mega Zelda stream, but it was so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, eager to get going with more uh, Chibi Robo, or uh, to give him his full title, Chibbert Robert, um, or Chib Rob to his friends. Um, hopefully the audio levels are alright, because uh, this is a loud intro. In fact, if I go to the... Uh... Yeah. Sounds fine to you. Okay, good to know. Well, if, uh, if that changes when we get into the actual game, because... Just the game audio alone. This this song is maxing out my uh, <laughs> my feed coming through my capture card. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. But for now, so where did we get to last time? We got through three hours worth of gameplay, according to this. Um, we got through. We found the giant robot in the basement. Uh, we we've got a gun, but we haven't found anything to shoot yet. Uh, we met the uh, the pirate, whatever his name was, uh, Captain Plankbeard, I think. Um, and uh, Telly is a little floating tyrant. That's the other thing that we've learned. Um, so I believe the uh, the giant robot is called Giga Robo. Although I definitely think they missed a trick in not calling him Chubby Robo, because then you'd have Chibi Robo and Chubby Robo. And honestly, that's better. That's just so much better. I'm going to write to Nintendo and tell them. So, uh, so yeah, let's get going. I cannot remember anything about this game from last Thursday because we have done a lot of streaming since then. So this is going to be fun. I'm hoping to finish this game in... Uh... Oh, yeah. I forgot. Chibi's all bandaged <laughs> because we killed him at the end of the last stream. Well, that's fun. Uh, so let me get to grips with the controls. So R is the map, C is the camera, and the camera is not very good because this is an early 2000s game. Y is first person, X is the menu. X is the menu, okay. So we'll take off the suit for now. Okay, A, okay, I can, I can have a look at the controls actually, can't I? Uh, let's have a look. So, B is cancel, A is action, C is rotate the camera. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, po pose, I forgot about pose. Z to do your Space Hunter Drake Red Crest pose when you have his costume on. Yeah, that's going to be vital, of course. Uh, status, so there's, a, there's Chubby Robo. I think I'm just going to call him Chubby Robo for the rest of the game. Um, I need to find a... We've got his battery, but we need to find the charger. Uh, and I believe the S is our global ranking in terms of happiness points. We still haven't found any junk to actually uh, upgrade ourselves yet. I think that's what the junk's for. Uh, but we found a whole bunch of uh, money and a whole bunch of happy points. So, got the items. We've got a couple of frog rings. We've got one bottle of gunpowder, sure. Uh, one bit of waste paper. And those are our achievements, and we haven't got a single one yet. So that's cool. Uh, okay. So I guess we head back to the uh, back to the. Hang on, we'll pick up our thing. Junk is for making little utilibots. All oh, right, yeah, they're they're little things that can help you, aren't they? Um, okay. So we're just going to head straight back to the uh, basement because we didn't actually finish everything we were doing down there, and hopefully I can still remember the controls enough to be able to do that relatively quickly and we can progress with the game. I'm hoping to be able to finish this in three streams if I can. But I genuinely have no idea. It depends on how well uh, uh, <laughs> how well the rest of it goes. Oh, yeah. 
You let an unauthorised intruder walk straight through here. You've got yolk for brains. Alright, listen up. You incompetent fools aren't fit for egg salad. You disgrace the free rangers. Rotten eggs, every one of you. Yes, sir. If it were up to me, I'd say you should all be poached. Private Memphis would have been ashamed of you. This is weird. Hi. Private Detroit. Oh, I see. So they're all named after uh, American state capitals. Memphis, Tennessee, Detroit, Michigan. Are they state capitals or are they just major cities? Either way, that's pretty cool. Listen up. I'm going to beat you eggs into a fearsome fighting omelette. But surely an omelette means that the egg has been broken up and cooked. Is that, sure, that really the metaphor you want to go for? And you'll thank me for it. Okay, well, there's not 50 of them there, so it can't all be right. Some state candles. Yes, sir. All right, soldiers, what are the five free ranger rules? Free rangers rule number one. When Sarge gives an order, private says, sir, yes, sir. Free rangers rule number two. Leave no egg behind. Free rangers rule number three. Snooze on patrol, get thrown in the hole. Wasn't that coming from the one that was falling asleep at the back? Free Rangers rule number four. Show up for roll call or suffer the consequences. I just made your places. All right, fair enough. Free Rangers rule number five. Failure to follow orders is punishable by scrambling. <laughs> but he was talking about making them all into an omelette. I don't know eggs. I don't like eggs. I don't eat eggs. So I don't know what all the different types are. All right, never forget the five rules. Yes, sir. Together we will defeat Tao. Tao? Oh, isn't T Tao's the dog, isn't it? Tao's the dog, yeah. All the punishments are just death. Yeah, but apparently the motivation is death as well. Go, go, go. Tex, Frisco. Okay, so we've got Texas and we've got Frisco, so that's weird. Yes, sir. This is really, like, every different, every night, there's something different going on. Is there stuff over here? That's another door, isn't it? Okay. Nothing up here. I am going to save. Frisco is also actually a city. Oh, right, okay. I only know it as San Francisco. And apparently they don't like being called Frisco. I remember from when uh, Eddie Izzard did a, did a uh, stand-up special there. Okay. Back to the basement we go. Basamente. This is where I just fall down the stairs spectacularly. Ow. Ow. Oh, no, hang on. Let's go back up. Ow. 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 You get five happy points for destroying the place. Charles, are you going to say it? Yes, I am. It's really weird how the um, uh, the title screen, the music is so loud, and then you get into the actual game, and there's no music at all. It's so quiet. And I mean, it, I know it's night time, but it's quite a change, isn't it? Like, I'm suddenly wondering if maybe my microphone is too loud because there's nothing to talk over. Maybe turn it down one decibel, see what that does.
Well, there's Chubby Robo over there. Oh yeah, the weird fortune thing. What is that, a teapot with four arms? You think I'm fine? Well, thanks very much. No need to flirt with me though. So, oh no, hang on, there was a ladder over here, wasn't there? Didn't I, did I knock down a ladder? <laughs> you looking fine. Uh, oh, the night's almost over. I'm gonna, I've just noticed that. Yeah, so I died, and now I've gotta try and climb back up this thing. And I'm gonna get to where I need to go, and then the night's gonna be over, I'm gonna have to do it all again. Oh, what is a point? Oh, hang on. Okay, yeah, I forgot. You can't jump in this game. You need to whip out the copter. Oh, but you can climb up the ropes, can't you? I don't think I'm going to get any further, though. I think I, I think my time is done. Is there another rafter I can cross? There is another rafter I can cross. Can I get to the Giga Charger before the day is over? No, because I've got to go all the way back. I think I, I can climb up over there. very confused. Just destroy the furniture. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. And there's the, that's the timer over. Okay, so we got marginally further than last time. Time for a break. Time for a break, but we just started streaming. There's the Zelda <laughs> cock a doodle doo noise again. Oh, good morning. Let's adjust your happy point totem. Your to be ranking has gone from 778 to 765. Wow, a whole 13 ranking. Yeah, I was trying. I don't need you to ejaculate streamers all over me. Thank you. There's only one streamer needed here, and that's me. Hey, MK. Welcome back to Chibirable. Or Chib Rob, as his friends call him. Uh, we were getting closer to finding the Giga Charger for, uh, for his, um, his giant robot friend. Um, who I've decided to call Chubby Robo, and uh, then Telly, the little floating tyrant, decided that I'd worked hard enough for today and called me all the way back to the charging thing. So now we've got to go all the way back to the basement again for the third time, just to try and accomplish what we've tried to do once. Those guys are still there. I'll ignore them. Anything makes you wonder what the Chibi Rose and the bottom rings are doing with how fast you got up to the top 800 out of a million. Yeah! I mean, there's a parallel to that in the um, uh, Smash Brothers GSP, isn't there? Imagine trying to do all this within five minute days. I know! I don't, uh, is there anyone out there that you think that did this all in five minute days? Pick up the happy points, you are gonna pick up the happy points. Is there a Chibi Robo? Oh, there'll be a speedrunning community for everything. I imagine there's a Chibi Robo uh, speedrunning community somewhere. But given that I have not got a clue what I'm doing, I don't think my uh, tactics are going to get me anywhere close to that. 
Okay, let's get the cherry copter. Let's get the camera to do something. Okay. Climb up the ladder, go on. No, get up the thing. Okay, so we got that one. Is the one down? Oh, we didn't get the one down there. Okay, let's go into the. Uh, no, let's go into the underworld one more time and get some more ma more cash. That's a lot of cash. Okay, can I go anywhere from here? Okay. Oh, do I just float down? Is it that simple? Jimmy Robo speed running is about two and a half hours. Wow. Okay, I'm thinking I just float down and recharge. I don't have enough to get back up. Yeah, let me float down, let me float down. I'm alive! You've recharged 22 times. I have to say, I think the uh, the having to recharge yourself every every sort of five minutes or so is my least favorite thing about the game so far. Like you make an open world game, but make it so that if you go walking for more than about two or three minutes, you have to find a charging point and recharge yourself. And I think that ca that kind of limits you, not in a good way. Hey, Doctor Dead. Two hours, twenty-three minutes, fifteen seconds. We can beat that. Anyone charge capacity was just eighty. I know. Well, the thing is, I thought it was eight hundred because I still look at that battery and think, well, that's twelve hundred ninety-nine. That's twelve hundred ninety-eight. I don't think it's a bad idea, but I think if you have like a a five minute day versus a 15 minute day, it becomes a bit much. Like just, like climbing up here, just getting up to where I need to go has already taken up, what, 400 energy? Just getting up here, not even knowing what to do. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I need to earn batteries faster. Yeah, well, then I have to grind though. Uh, chibi copter, okay. We're just gonna drop down and land on the charger! But first... Oh yeah, yeah, the game needs... yeah, sorry. <laughs> Giga Charger. Chubby Charger. Yar, that be it, says I. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to sailing once more? Yes. Ah, Chibi. You're such a... I got one thing for you to remember. Don't use the outlets in the house when you fill her up. You'll be drawing so much power that poor Sanderson's will go bankrupt. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with Giga Robo. Ain't that right, you giant can opener? Ah, I almost forgot. Giga Robo be missing a leg. And no peg leg neither. If my memory serves, Captain Sanderson put it in a queer sort of treasure chest. Sort of a steel trunk with a handle. Uh, 
Okay. Her guy's falling asleep. I know how he feels. We need to tap into the electricity outside their ticker box. Imagine if you could use happiness points by destroying their electric bill. I almost want to try. Because the mum wasn't very nice to me. Can I clean up the oil for extra points? Chevy Blaster Toothbrush. I can. Mrs. Sanderson is coming around to little Chibo. Well, wait until she sees Chubby Chibo. Chubby Robo. You cleaned up a total of 57 stains. Time for a cleaning bonus. Twenty-three, not bad. Your new lab bonus is eighty-four. Just your very presence makes everyone happy, happy, happy. Why is fifty-seven a bonus milestone? Uh because Chevy Robo. Because reasons. Because this game is sponsored by Heinz and they have fifty-seven varieties of ketchup. Literally the only 57 I can think of. 57 is a prime number. Maybe the game takes place in 1957. Who knows? The next milestone is 84. Well, naturally, of course. They're obviously big Wonder Woman fans. <laughs> hey, Alex. What a weird coincidence. My presence also brings nothing but happiness. Uh, quite the opposite, actually. My heart sinks whenever you come into my chat. How you doing, mate? You right? <laughs> Are you working this week? One Woman Night 84 was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Wow. I'd heard people didn't like it, but I, I wouldn't have thought it was one of the worst ever. Wow. That's whatever the opposite of high praise is. Good for testing my heart's fitness. My heart is not in a good state right now. <laughs> I, I'm possibly the unhealthiest I've ever been, thanks to lockdown. It made Batman v Superman look good. Oh, what is it with DC? What are DC doing wrong? Honestly, what are Marvel doing so right and DC doing so wrong? At this point, I'm just basically charging any chance I get. Working in and out all week. Wonder Woman 1 was pretty good, I thought. Uh, Wonder Woman 1, yeah, I was... I was. It's the only... I mean, it's, it's the only DC film I've seen since Dark Knight Rises, and... It was pretty good. I've not seen anything since Dark Knight Rises in terms of DC. Because I didn't like Dark Knight Rises very much. We really have to climb up every bit of stairs, don't we? Maybe the Batman will be good, although I know you don't like grit. I don't mind grit if it's done well, but grittiness for the sake of grittiness is not... not appealing. Like, I will enjoy, I enjoy a gritty movie if it's a good movie. Like, I love The Dark Knight. I think The Dark Knight is incredible, but... Darkness and grittiness do not immediately good films make. And I also don't like grits because it gets stuck in my car and I get stuck behind the people that spread it. And you say I don't like grits, but I saw the movie True Grits and thought it was pretty good, so you know. And that's the truest of all grit. I thought it was, you know, GRIT. As Tony the Tiger would say, if he was into grit. Uh, oh, can I pose in front of Frog Girl, whatever her name is, Jenny? Uh, okay, let's just put... Uh, drink red fresh suits and then pose. Get 
Gimme. Fine. Give you frog rings. How many frog rings do you need? Yeah, he just gave you 66 happy points. You got 100. Oh, we've now got 1666. Spread the happiness. Seven more. Wow, you're demanding. You're fully recharged. I didn't like the Joker either. <laughs> like, I read all the praise for it, I read all the criticism of it, and I saw it, and I agreed with the criticism of it more than the praise, if I'm honest. I can see why people would love it, but I'm on the side of the people that didn't, if I'm honest. Should we come to our... Shall we go pose for the dad? Let's go pose for the dad and see if he does anything for us. But first of all, let's clean up after him. Messy bastard. Candy bag. I talk to you. Space Hunter Drake Redgrass costume? Good gravy, that is so cool! I want one! Don't think it will fit you, mate. I want one. I want one. I want one. Why did he, uh, why did he say that so slowly? Or why did the text say that so slowly? Let me see you pose. Come on, let me see. Oh, that's good. I like it. I mean, I really, really like it. Thank you for not taking two minutes to say that. Ah, Drake Redcrest rocks! And he died. That just gave you nine happy points. Wow, stingy, is he? got 70. Come on, your seven-year-old daughter gave me like 10 times as many happy points for giving her a frog ring. It's a shame my wife can't understand just how cool he is. It's a shame you can't understand what the value of a happy point is. You and your giant Hawaiian shorts and weird freaky toes. Do you see that? Look at those toes. You're a weird guy, mate. Yeah. No. Oh. 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 Ho, ho. Oh. Yeah, I thought I was dead there. Get up. Get up, Chib Rob. Come on. Could I get to that uh, that coin there? There's only one way to find out. Flight! Well, that sucked. Let's get rid of all the rubbish while we're here. Oh, 
See, even the bin gave me more happy points than the dad did, and he paid for me. So I'm already wondering what on earth I'm supposed to do next. My dad never gives me any happy points. Well, you don't pose in a costume, do you, Alex? You just ask for hugs. Kitchen, maybe? I suppose I should probably put the Giga Charger back in the, um, back in the house, shouldn't I? I don't know what else I can do. Now, just take out the Giga Charger you're carrying with you. Yes, that's it. Look at that. It's already bigger than you are, Jibi Rabo. It's pretty heavy. Let's set it over there. No, set it on top of Telly. On top of Telly. Damn it. I wish there was a way to kill Telly. You know what that means? You can finally recharge the Giga Battery! Well, yay. Welcome to the Chibi PC. What can I buy? My two grand of stuff. Range chip? Enables the Chibi Blaster to fire long distance shots. Yes, please. Not more upgrades. Nectar flower seed. <clears throat> probably for something later. Recyclotron. Living room ladder. A ladder reaches high places. Place near the Chibirobo house. Oh, right. That's, uh... Yeah, we need a uh, scrap for that. Thank you for your visit. Hey, do you play Pac-Man on that thing? Range chip. Man, I could go for some chips right now. You've upgraded! Keep it up, Chibi Robo, and let's go! Again, ejaculating streamers all over me. Not happy with that. You're a filthy guy, Telly. Filthy guy. Okay. What do we do now? Uh, go into the kitchen. I'm at the point where I've done the thing that I was told to do. Now I don't know where to do next. I need to find some scrap from somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh look, it's the dog. Hey dog. Why does it look like you're wearing platform soles? It does, it's look like he's wearing shoes. Hey Gromit. Nothing for you. Hey, lady. Say, Chibo, you saw Jenny, right? Have I talked to Jenny today? Yes, I gave her frog rings and I posed for her. And she gave me uh, ten times as many happy points as her dad. Don't you think she looks weird? I mean, she thinks she's a frog. Yes. You think so, huh? One day she just started saying, Ribby, nothing else. I don't know what happened. I know. I live with freaks. Say, would you like to chat with me for a bit? Yes. Wow, you're well made. It's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Now that the water's boiling, let's have tea. I'm not sure that a three-inch tall robot uh, can handle a cup of tea. 
Since you're so small, you can sit over here. Oh, did you see my husband sleeping on the sofa? Lazy, no good, so and so. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Oh, do you think I'm too harsh? But it was his fault! He bought you without even asking me. He's between jobs right now, and yet he spends moolah like crazy. He's a slacker and a bum. Poor Chibi. But then, he is her servant, so he has to say everything. He has to agree with everything that she says. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not fair for me to go off on you like that. Sorry, love. You keep necking your tea. You know, tea always tastes better when you have someone to talk to. Well, then why are you mad at your husband for buying me, then? Surely, having someone to talk to that's not your no-good husband, you should be happy about. Thank you, Chibo. Not my name, but sure. I just gave you 13 happy points. Oh, wow. So both of the parents are stingy bastards. Honestly, the daughter just showers you with happiness. Spread the happiness. We'd have to get some first to do that. I mean, someone who says something other than Revit. She gave more than dad, but uh, Jenny gave us something like, what, 65, 66? The mum gave 13 and the dad gave 9. Even combined, she still gave three times as more as them. Chibi and tea is about as good idea as the cuisine art bath bomb, the toaster. Maybe I made it a little too strong. I think this tea is too bitter. Oh, very nice. You've been cleaning up the house. Thank you, Chibo. Just gave you ten happy points. Wow! You got ten moolah. Wow! I know her husband's between jobs, but really? Give me all your money. Oh, that? I bet the goldfish will eat it. Wait, what? Right, give me more money. Don't make me shock you. Don't make me threaten you with this. In fact, what am I doing? I have an actual gun. Give me all your money. Or the dog gets it. Where's the dog? Yeah, the dog. Give me all your money. Or the dog gets it. You think I'm kidding? You're lucky I'm a terrible shot, lady. You better have more money for me next time. I'm running a protection racket here. Oh my god, she actually made a little cute, uh, a little mug of tea for a little chibi. Oh my god. And he just dipped his socket in it. He just, he just, he dipped the, uh, he dipped the end of his plug in it. Which, you know, whatever. Whatever gets you off, Chibi. But still, okay. All is forgiven. I'm sorry for trying to shoot your dog. You gave me a little cup of Chibi tea that I can't pick up because the game doesn't have any commands to let me. But still, that's adorable. Hey, Matt. How you doing? I've just tried to threaten the mum by shooting the dog, but it turns out I can't shoot. Oh, that. Yes, those are all bills. Who's Bill? Bill, your husband? My husband is constantly blowing all of our moolah on his stupid toys. Hey, excuse me, princess, I am one of his stupid toys. People are supposed to grow out of toys sooner or later. At least normal people are. Wow, Nintendo. Wow. Way to shoot your audience in the foot. No harming small animals is a sign of anti-social behaviour. Yeah, but I'm a guy, so if anything it would be uncle social behaviour. Uh... Yes, those are delicious, but they'll make you fat if you eat too many. Wow, again, poking right at the audience. 
and sing home. Cookie. And we got ourselves a Kingler there. If you put that in the garbage can, it would be a big help. Frog ring. Behaviour. Yes, correct spelling. Thank you. I had no idea what you were talking about. I didn't understand what you were saying. I bet Jenny would really like that. I know. I've given her seven of them. Okay, how do I get down from here? Can I get down? Can you give me a shit? Can you give me a lift down? Wow, Jenny's dad will be so happy. I seem to recall him having a costume like that too. Oh, can I pose for her? No, I can't. Doesn't care. Well, I guess I should get back to work. Yeah, just leave me hanging off the edge of the table like this. <laughs> Thanks. Calculatrix there. I guess I have to find... I guess now that you've put me on the table, I guess I have to get off it on myself, do I? Fine. Down we go. Oh, the day's almost over. Look at that. Might as well just get this one here, and then the day will be done. So you can feed the goldfish. Uh, what do we have? No, I pressed pause by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. And now I'm going to die. Items, right. So it's on the pause menu. So we've got cookie crumbs. We've got cookie... So you give the cookie crumbs to the fish, do you? I need to find this fish. I also need to find a plug. Also, you say harming small animals. Have you seen the size of this guy? That's not a small animal. I am a small animal. Like in what in what universe? I mean, I could if I shot this guy in the head, I could very easily claim self-defense because look at the size of him. I literally don't go up past his socks. glad you went out of your way to walk up to the dogs to make that point at critical low battery. Have you not seen this game? I do everything at critical low battery because that's all that you can do. Yeah, I've decided I'm not a big fan of the whole battery mechanic and the fact that literally walking anywhere in a game about exploration drains your health. I'm not a fan of that at all. I like the game. I think it's very fun. I think it's very charming. I don't like the fact that you constantly have to be aware of the fact that you're literally... You're literally walking yourself to death. Still adjusting the happy point total. Still haven't found a way to get any scrap. My Chibiran King has gone from 765 to 295. Not bad, not bad. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 78 more happy points. Oh, come on. Stop spaffing all over me. Oh, you're here, Chibi Rebo. Would you like to save? Yes, well. Okay, it's now night time. Still finding out what the hell I've got to do next. What does this thing do? Oh, I think you could probably charge it if you're willing to shell out the moolah. It looks like the giga battery doesn't have any energy stored up at all. I think it's going to take a whole lot of juice to charge that giga battery up, Chibi Robo. We can't charge it from the outlets in the house. That would break the family's bank. So I say we do our best to save up some moolah and pay for it from our own pockets. Do you want to charge it? Sure. 
One thousand kilowatts equals one thousand. How many kilowatts will you charge? Zero watts? That just won't do. I don't have a thousand moolah yet. So my entire life saving so far isn't even enough for one kilowatt of energy. Yeah, stop spaffing your streamers all over my floor. What's going on? What's going on? Eh? Did you hear that? Oh look, Telly is absolutely tellified. Came from outside. Well, look at this, we have plot. I love the way he hops down the stairs. Hmm, it's just Mr. Redcrest stomping around. What do you think that noise was? Frog ring! Telly, out of the way. Bloody tyrant. Ah, hey, wait a second. What's that? Is that oil? Why is there oil here? Let's do a little investigating. Yep, Telly and Chib are on the case. Uh, Chibi Robo is starting in his own uh, forensic investigation series. It's called CHIBI Crime Scene Investigation. I wonder where it came from, huh? I can't wait for the, um, the spin off, CHIBI Miami, where he puts on sunglasses and wisecracks. Wait a second, what's that thing over there? Yeah! Oh, good music! What the hell is that thing? What the hell are those things? The Spy Doors are here! Good name for a band. Uh oh. I know this move. It's. Spy Door Roulette! What? This is going to be bad, really bad. Quick, get the Chibi Blister! Uh, did I leave the oven on? Yep, definitely telly fight. Okay, I've got the I've got the chimney blaster out. Junk! I got junk! Or scrap or whatever it's called. Tilt it in all directions. Also you can you throw them off by spinning the stick. Hey, is that what I think it is? It's scrap, Chibi Robo. Collect enough of that, and you can build a utilibot with this recyclotron. So many new words. Spidors are good for something after all. They're good for recycling. Tee hee hee. Where are you, you coward? Come back here. You tyrant. Tyrant, coward. I want to shoot you too. Hey, I can. <laughs> How does it feel, Telly? How does it feel? I'm gonna shoot you in your massive right eye. I don't care that I'm wasting energy. This guy has to get it. All right, fine. The thing that's wild to me is that you had scrap in your original safe house, so you got at least this far. Did I really? I mean, we are talking like, what, 12 years ago? 2008, 2009? I still have the receipt in here. Sometimes I keep the receipts from my old games. Nope. Got manual, mint condition. I also still have the uh, the Nintendo VIP complete with code. Remember NintendoVIP.com? Uh, 
get 250 stars for Chibi Robo VIP 24-7. Nintendo VIP normally had pretty rubbish prizes that you could get, but there were a couple of times where they gave some really good things. I got the uh, the Super Mario Galaxy soundtrack CD, and I got the Mario Kart 8 soundtrack CD as well, I believe. So yeah, uh, two of the greatest Nintendo soundtracks ever made right there. So yeah, not bad at all. Spy doors, doors that spy on you with their eight legs. Okay. Oh, let's put this thing away. Alright, let's get some help. It was really only good in Japan because it was a lot easier for them to do physical shipping there. Yeah. Living room ladder. Standing by. Red 5, standing by. Jibirabo, put your scrap into the Recyclotron. Yes, a nice bit of head vomit. I was not expecting it to eat it. Or burp. Oh my god, it's a severed head. In a Pokeball. I'll set it up out in the living room. Why do you get to set it up? It's my present. I killed the spiders for it. <laughs> this is kind of like Persona uh, eating enough hamburgers to let you buy a gun. This is killing enough spiders to let you build a ladder. Welcome to the Chibipasi. Do you have anything for me whatsoever? No. Please come again. All right. Come on, hurry up, Chibi. What the? Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Congratulations on building the Utilibot. Teehee. I feel like we've got a new partner. I'm so happy. Abnormal activity detected while on patrol. Well, look, it's Falco. Oh no, it's Billy Hatcher, isn't it? Alert, alert, alert! What have we here? Now, Jibi Robo, are you ready? Yes. Now then, everyone. I will now unveil the Utilibot. It's huge. Stop spaffing streamers all over my stuff. This nifty ladder utilibot will let you do all sorts of things. And you can push your pullet in addition to raising it up and down. Ahem! Uh -huh. Isn't that something? Duraker Redcrest is confused and angry, but it does not appear to be evil. It's blinking, that's unsettling. Condition normal, situation peaceful. The patrol must continue. Well, keep up the good work, Billy Hatcher. You go roll some eggs. And thanks. Now you can reach the high parts of the house, Chibirubo. And now, Jibirubo, you tell about. I present to you my new song. Oh my god. Telly's gonna sing for us. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say to us, this little floating tyrant coward. Are you ready to be amazed? No. <laughs> Fine. I, Television, will now enthrall you with the gift of song. This one is called... Oh, and Chibi Robo doesn't even have any ears to put his fingers in. He doesn't even have any fingers. Teddy Yaki Blues. This 
Is he turning into Billy Joel? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I appear to have been interrupted by a malfunction of some kind. Oh. So he was about to regale us with what sounded like the cheesiest Billy Joel song of all time and then got catapulted so hard into the fourth wall that he smashed the camera which I quite like that. I do think that's quite funny. And now he is crying into the new Utilibot which is probably going to destroy it because I can't imagine it's water friendly. So... I'm sorry you couldn't hear the whole song. Believe me, I am so grateful. Also, he's got one eye bigger than the other, but they're... No, 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 they're not cry They're not both crying the same amount of water, actually. One is crying much more than the other. Okay, so that is actually a nice touch. Thanks anyway. You were a great audience. I mean, I really wasn't. I've been abusing you straight for the last five minutes. Yeah, 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 you stay over there. Don't be, don't be trying to sing any more songs. It's not your thing, okay? Your thing is being a little flying weasel who runs away at the sight of danger. Isn't that right? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! You learned a lesson. Because you know what will happen. Right, I'm glad we understand each other. Bye. Here I am cleaning up your spaff again. Yeah, sorry about that. My bad. Right, what do we do? Jabirabo, do you want to know how to use the ladder utilibot? Wow, you're still talking to me? I literally pointed a gun in your face. Fine. Insert your plug to raise the ladder if you want to lower it. Tilt mm, down. Jabirabo is playing bad cop tonight. <laughs> Just like in the Lego movie. Who voiced it in the Lego movie? I can't remember bad cop. Oh, are you, if you're talking about Liam Neeson, he's Irish. Sorry. Uh, about happiness and choice to spend it threatening characters at gunpoint. Well, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> I'm racist, I guess. <laughs> he's also, he's, he's Northern Irish, so he's got an accent like this. It's a little hard, little harder than the, uh, than the Irish accent. And I'm not doing it very well. I'm not doing it very well, despite the fact that I have Irish relatives. Like the the Irish accent's got a little bit more of a lid to it, but the Northern Irish accent's more like this. There's no emotion in the accent whatsoever. Where did I go? Uh, up a ladder. Wait, what happened? Did I just die? Did I just... Did I just insert myself into the Utilibot and, like... Did Chibi Robo just shag himself out of energy? I don't understand what happened. You used power to raise the ladder. It drained your battery to raise the ladder. Well, I didn't know that, and I've just raised the ladder in the middle of nowhere! Oh well, we might as well claim it. We're gonna die anyway. I'm on top of the world! And I can't do anything. I'm, I'm about to fall down the ladder. Oh my god. Can I go back down the ladder, please? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go down the ladder. So he just stepped off the ladder.
Okay, so now we know that ladders can kill you. Oh, it should be Rebo. And I've lost money. I've lost. I'm trying to. I'm trying to raise money to power uh, the giant robot in the basement, or chubby Robo, as I've started calling him. And I've lost money. I don't even have enough for one gigawatt yet. Oh my god! I'm gonna be playing this game for a month. Don't forget to recharge. Oh, don't forget to tell me how. It looks like you lost some moolah, but. Literally, I, I, I died within like 10 feet of the of the house. So the only thing that could have stolen my money is you. Stop spaffing all over my house. Hey, you. Heli boy. Helicopter boy. You see this thing here? I know I'm tied to the wall right now. Like a dog tied to a lamppost. But I want my money back. You stole my money. You literally carried me the 10 feet from the ladder to the house. But I'm somehow 200 moolah lighter. You know what that means, right? Yeah. It's gonna happen again if you're not careful. Oops, I wasn't careful. See, because I'm plugged in here, I have infinite ammo, bitch! Stupid floating CRT. You went obsolete 20 years ago. Deal with it. called a transit a transit fee 200 moolah from there to there and back in again apparently Ugh. yeah I don't think we're gonna make much progress in this stream I'm having too much fun just threatening the floating monitor I don't even have to say anything do I you understand So how do we retract this stupid thing? I don't even understand how this works. Do we stab it in the face with our with our with our tail? Oh, you can push it and pull it. Ah, I understand. Oh, so it costs. It costs colossal amounts of energy to lower it as well, does it? Oh my god, that was ha- I really don't like the energy system in this game, I really don't. I, I blame you for that, Telly. Almost at four hours played, and the last hour of that has been me threatening Telly with a gun. Okay, so what can we get to now? So I can only push in two directions, can I? That kind of sucks. I can go upstairs, I can go upstairs. Wait, do I have to turn this thing round? I don't want to pick up the stupid plug. I want to push the thing. Oh, he, he glows red and gets angry if you try to push him, if you try to push him into the wall. Can I get up? Can I climb the ladder? I want to climb the ladder. Okay. Yeah, he's not playing bad cop. He's playing bad copter. And actually, when he's playing bad cop to telly, he's a telecopter. 
Thank you very much. I'm here all week. And I fell off the side and I deserve that. Right, where's my gun? Oh, camera. Oh, camera. You're so wonderful, oh, camera. Don't mind me, family, just blowing a hole in the side of your bookcase. Anything in there? No. You're fine. Yeah, let's get to the top of this uh, little thing, whatever it is. They didn't want you to destroy things, they should have been marked with very clear stickers. Okay, so we'll climb up this ladder, we'll go to the next portal into the underworld, we'll steal all the money from the underworld, and then we'll uh, fall down the side and uh, break our back and lose all the money that we collected in the underworld. I wonder if it's possible to die so often in this game that you lose so much money that you can't actually beat the game. I wouldn't put it past them to do that. Imagine if you were so bad at the game that you soft locked yourself out of finishing it. Okay, well I've got a thousand mala now. Oh, there's some more mala in there as well. Can I climb up here? I said, can I climb up here? This camera is the best camera ever. Can I push up? Can I get up the um? Is that a TV over there? No, 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 Chibi. Come on. Work with me, Chibster. my first cloak already. Your energy is full. <laughs> it's really not, Telly. That's why I've got two cans of caffeine in beside me. Wow, they have a telly with knobs on the front. Anything up here? The hell is there a socket on the wall that high for? How are you supposed to get to that? Oh, there's another um, portal to the underworld over there. Wait, you can't pick up this thing, can you? So how on earth are you supposed to get to the super high? Look, there's another one on the fireplace. How are you supposed to get up there? Oh, look, the dog's sleeping on the couch. You get you a good view from up here. Whoa, look at the size of that clock. Am I the only one that thinks 
Uh, you're right, Chib. Am I the only one that thinks that the decor in this house is utterly ghastly? I mean, a giant orange grandfather flower clock with green cupboards from floor to green and brown cupboards with blue fish curtains. I mean, no wonder the girl thinks she's a frog. She's surrounded by swamp furniture. G green, brown and orange is the colour scheme, apart from a few things which are blue, which makes the whole thing even worse. This is absolutely the low-income low suburban aesthetic, is it really? They couldn't have gone with... Like... I take it this game is meant to be set in like the 60s or something like that, because I don't think any sort of modern house would have anything even resembling this. I mean, it is literally suburb American suburbia, you can tell because of the white picket fence outside. I mean, I don't have much problem with the clutter. You know, it's, it's, it's the... I mean, I, I, I'm not one to talk. I don't know how to decorate a house. I don't know what looks good and what doesn't. But all I know is... If I lived in a house like this... I'd spend a lot of time in the basement. With, with the, the weird pl with the weird pirate guy. Anyway, let's go back to the underworld. It's definitely 50s, 60s inspired. There was even a vintage label and some can you passed by. Really? Okay, and then why does this phone have eyes? And uh, why... Hmm. Something weird about this phone. Hey, catnip. Uh, I missed a coin in the underworld, did I really? Uh, while we're just having a look at this phone... Why does this phone's not? Why do the phone not the numbers in this phone go one two three four five six seven eight zero zero? I really hope they don't have to dial nine one one anytime. I did miss a coin in the underworld. There are only three there. title says backlog declog that was one of my 21 resolutions but I'm not doing good at it so far yeah that was something I started on my um on my twitch stream um uh, a while back it's binary apart from all the other numbers yeah the phone does have eyes uh maybe it's like the first video phone it can see you um yeah so backlog declog something I started last spring I want to say because I just thought while I'm stuck in lockdown, I might as well make the most of this time to get rid of all the games that I uh, I haven't used. If you use the um the backlog command, it will link you to my backlog, um, where I have a list of every game that I've ever owned and whether I've completed it or not. Um, and we're making pretty decent progress. Um, I've now completed my uh, Game Boy Advance, Mega Drive, and PlayStation One uh, collections. Um, and uh, I've got through a couple of PS4 games. I'm trying to do most of the retro consoles because obviously those are the ones that have the biggest chance of dying first. Um, so I am now doing my last unfinished GameCube game, which is Chibi Robo, so yeah. So I'm trying to balance this with uh, Persona 5, which is my other big lockdown project. But yeah, I'm having good fun with it. Anyway, we've only got a little bit of time left. Shall we go, uh, what should we do? Where's the ladder thing? There's the ladder thing. Oh, well, I, I think I'll reduce the ladder for now. Do we have to push this ladder thing into the living room, into the, um, into the hall? In order to get up the stairs, do we have to push the ladder thing into the hall? Because that's kind of... That's a slog.
<laughs> yeah, I do like the little camera on the top left. Your energy is full. Are you going to savvy? Sure, why not? Let's save every 30 seconds. Okay. So you can't push it onto the carpet. So we do just have to slide it along the ground. You need to buy another ladder for each... Really? That would make sense. You're not going to get it through the gap in the door, are you? Okay. Can I find some more enemies, please? Can I fight some more spiders? I need to buy more stuff. I need to kill more spiders so that I can buy another ladder. 1 for the foyer, 1 for the kitchen, foyer is more important. It didn't give me a choice, it just said you can buy a ladder. But I'm guessing having the foyer, having the living room ladder allows you to access more of the uh, underworld portals. Lob it in with A. Hey, look, all the um, <laughs> all the streamers that uh, Telly spaffed every time I saved, uh, just got us 120 mula and 12 happy points. So yeah, him being happy has made us happy. We're just throwing all the fish food away as well. Got a total of 31 happy points. Surely that's enough for the next... Uh... You get so much happiness for Telly's trash. This is a racket. Yeah. I'm telling you, Telly is a tyrant. Hashtag Telly is a tyrant. Let's get it trending. It's 16.11. Well, we've got enough to put 1.2 gigawatts into the... Uh into um, the battery for Chubby Robo. I don't even know where the fish is. I think it's in the kitchen. I think it's on the kitchen counter. Although it, it might be like upstairs in Jenny's room. Who knows? Way to go. I think we can call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. What do you mean the work we've done? You stole 200 moolah from me. You dragged me 10 feet. You took a bullet to the face. Good morning. Let's adjust your happy point total. Come on, top 100. Your Chibi King has gone from 205. Aww. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 42. Oh, come on. This is a racket. This is an absolute racket. I know you'll make it to Super Chibi Robo. I need also. Stop spaffing all over my house. At least clean up after yourself, jeez. Yeah, you know those list of the best video game villains? Telly should be number one. You, know, you can keep your Sephiroths, you can keep your Dr. Robotniks, can telly. Telly is numero uno with a bullet. Or rather, several bullets. Anyway. It looks like the Giga Battery doesn't have any energy stored up at all. Do you want to charge it? Yes. 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 moolah. How many kilowatts will you charge? 1,000, because I don't have enough for that. Telly is number one on the list of the best. Yeah, that's that's some uh, that's some creative editing right there. Give it 1,000 kilowatts. Oh. 
More, Jimmy Rubo, more! Well, that was pathetic, wasn't it? The Giga Battery has charged 1,000 kilowatts. Stop spaffing over my house! Don't make me do it again! How many times have I got to clean up after you? Oh my god, man. Never known anyone so messy. Alright, what the hell have I got to do? Uh, where's my ladder? Oh, it's all the way over there. And I was thinking I want to... So there's a portal into the underworld up there that I can get to. There's a box up there I can get. There's a portal into the underworld up the top there, but I don't think I can reach that. There's a frog ring up there. Oh, we could go and give Godzilla a new, a new frog ring. That's kind of it, isn't it? Right, off we go. Hey, can I can I run over all your drawing and ruin it? Look. Oh, she drew me! Oh, that's so wonderful! I love it. And best of all, she didn't draw a telly. Ah. Uh, although I'm slightly concerned that I'm now taller than her house. Like, I don't think I'm gonna fit back in there. Like, Chubby Robo has definitely turned into Chubby Robo at that point. Yay, Ebbit! I don't know why I said yes to. Yeah, he just gave you 13 happy points. Oh, she's learning from her parents. She's being much more economical, much more frugal with her happiness. We can just put the house in your inventory. Yes, you can. It will probably still fit in uh, Chibi's massive, massive head. Is that you or Giga Robo? Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, I've never heard of anything called Giga Robo. Uh, the guy in the basement is known as Chubby Robo. So, uh, yeah. Go on. You're obsessed with your bling, aren't you? Thanks, Ribbit. Jenny's give you 66 happy points. Wow, okay, she is splashing out. This is that Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> Flight of the Bumblebee game? Is that you or Chubby Robo? Uh, I like to think it's me because I don't know how Jenny would know about Chubby Robo because she wouldn't be allowed in the basement because she's seven. But uh, maybe. But even Chubby Robo isn't bigger than the house, otherwise he wouldn't be in it. So I can, I can only assume that it is a Chibi Robo turned into Chibi Zilla, or Chibzilla, as he likes to be called by his friends. Five more, Ribbit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're extorting me. No, 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 let me, no, 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 no. Fine. Oh, the gibberish remains. Oh, yes, yes, I do remember you saying that. Yeah, I can see that. Drawing perspective is hard. I mean, I know, but. I mean, what do I know? I mean, she can't even speak English. She only speaks frog. No, sleep. Oh my god. Chib, Chib, Chib Rob. There you go. There's a good robot. Hey, I'm not saying that I can do any better than that. But I'm still saying that she needs to work on her art. She's never going to be a frog. She doesn't become a better artist. Why? Oh my god. Push the damn ladder. Okay, come up, walk up to it. Push the button. Hold down the button. There you go. Sometimes you hold down the button and he picks up his plug. And sometimes you hold down the button and he climbs the thing. Oh, 
Okay, now you can pick up a plug. Now you can do your thing. Oh my god, it's an outcropping. Oh. But now I've pushed it against the wall. Yeah. Oh wait. You can pull it. Okay, that's fine. So robots just like to play with her plugs. Well, you know, what, what they do in their own personal time is their business. What, the, what are you getting stuck on now? I'm confused. So I can't pull it. What? Confused. Why can't I pull it back? Oh, can I not pull it because it... I think it's getting caught on the geometry of the shelf. Yeah, I think you're right. But it won't let me pull it back, which is the even weirder thing. Do I have to push it? Do I have to fully retract it? I mean, the first thing I have to do is recharge. need the ladder down to be able to pull it. I mean, that seems like a waste of charge if I have to do that. On the plus side, we have enough uh, happy points for another battery. I know that for sure. So next time we'll get an extra 20 seconds worth of uh, thing. Come on, how can I not pull it when it's at that level? Do I really have to... Stop it! Leave your plug down there! Oh my god! So do I literally pull it two inches? Stick it back in. Okay. I'm gonna charge again before I climb the ladder. Chibi Robo deserves a light remake with some quality of life changes. Yeah, and the biggest, you know what would be the biggest quality of life change? Getting rid of this sucker. He's not even letting me escape. There we go. Let's see. They get rid of telly in this game, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, G-O-T-Y, G-O-T-D. Then they can find a way to make a Game of the Year edition and remove him twice. Maybe put him back in and then remove him again. G-O-T-C. Well, I wouldn't go that far, you know. After all, we've still got uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 2006 as, as our GOTC. Uh, okay, time to get out of the good copter, bad copter. Can I float into here? What's in here? Is there anything in here worthwhile? Is it just this stupid pear thing? Aubergine? What the hell is that? It's about as weird as the rest of the stuff in here, I suppose. We can actually do some more stuff up higher, though. I'm going to play Shadow the Hedgehog this summer. 
I'm gonna play a whole bunch of Sonic games for the 30th. The Shadow of the Hedgehog I remember being pretty good. And I want to see if that still is the case. It's got a great soundtrack, if nothing else. But I'm one of these people that uh, enjoyed Sonic 2006 enough to uh, enough to get all the achievements in it and get a thousand uh, gamer score. I wonder how many people have done that. Because I, I legitimately that game it, it's frustrating as hell with the glitches, but I legitimately enjoyed my time with the game. And oh my god, look! There's an actual picture of Chubby Robo up here. Looks like he's moving in. He must be packing up his things. Oh no, actually, no, that is Chubby Robo being fired. That is him leaving the office with a box full of his stuff. That is him literally being fired from his job as the house robot and uh, finding his way into the basement. Also, oh my god, uh, this is a uniquely British reference, but I love the idea of Chibi and Chubby Robo being the house robots from uh, Robot Wars. Because that's literally what he is, he's a house robot. But can I sneak into this gap here? Yes, I can. Oh, look at how tight it is. Oh, he ain't getting out of there. I may or may not have convinced Joe to weave some other games in between Kingdom Hearts. That's probably for the best because I imagine you'll get Kingdom Hearts fatigue quite quickly if you're playing them all back to back. Um, but oh my god, I want to see the two of you play Shadow of the Hedgehog because I imagine Joe is going to have the worst time with that game as much as I love it. Did I? Okay, I broke that. Uh, I broke that box on the floor, so I assume that there are there's a prize for it, right? Right? Where's my prize? I want a prize. Fine, screw you guys. You must have stolen it, Telly. Telly, give me my prize. Fine. A photo of Chubby being fired, but before Mr. Sanderson ripped his leg off. He couldn't get him to agree to play, but he's going to sit down and watch a lot of Sonic games. That's probably better, I would say, because I would say that the areas where the Sonic games fall down the most is in their gameplay. Like, I think, I genuinely think, you know, questionable story aside, I think Sonic 2006 is a decent game that just didn't get enough development time. Um, the music is incredible. The level design is relatively good, it just didn't have enough time to get all the glitches out. Um, I had fun with Sonic 2006. Um, I know I'm in the vast minority of that, but uh, yeah, I had fun with Shadow the Hedgehog, I had fun with Sonic 2006, I had a lot of fun with Sonic Heroes. I desperately want to go back and play Sonic Heroes, because um, I got all the emblems in that game and beat them super hard. There's only one 3D Sonic game that I would say I have actually had a bad time with, and even then, the soundtrack to that game is phenomenal. Um, I'm talking about Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic and the Black Knight. I think I rolled credits after about two hours and never went back to it. Uh, but, out of curiosity, are you going for story completion or all stickers? Um, I will, on stream, I'll be going for story completion. After that, I'll see about all stickers. <laughs> Yeah. That's the thing. It's um when you look at uh, when you look at Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic 2006. Um, they both suffer from the same problems, uh, which is that they were rushed to get them out in time for the anniversaries. And it's something that they um they learned a little bit for uh, Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, where they didn't rush them for getting them out for the anniversaries. They just uh, they announced them at the anniversaries, and then they came out when they were ready. And you know, Sonic Forces still most people didn't like, but they actually gave it time to be made. Because the one thing that people say about Sonic Forces, they don't talk about the glitches. They talk about it, it's a it's a it's a solidly put together game. People just didn't like the level design or you know the gameplay or anything like that. Um, but it, the game doesn't feel incomplete in any way. Uh, right, what on earth am I doing now? I've got 1,300. No, what, how many? Uh, what's the status? I've got 900 moolah. I don't have enough for another. Uh, oh, we've got to get to 10,000 moolah. 
Okay. I'm really curious about what uh, what they're going to announce this year, because I've heard the rumours that are going around about uh, about the next Sonic game, and it sounds. I don't know whether it sounds good or not. I, I don't. I genuinely have no idea. I have very little expect, very few expectations, unless they announce Sonic Mania 2, which sadly, in their infinite stupidity, they're probably not going to do. But um, they seem to have learned their lesson about not trying to rush games, not trying to get games out for anniversaries, about figuring out what works. So we'll see. Have I ever seen the Pokemon? No, I haven't. I haven't seen any Let's Plays of Sonic 06 apart from, like, GDQ speedruns. By the way, you can push this thing when the ladder's up. It just seems like, um... It was just getting caught on that thing on the shelf. But yeah, I, I, I want to spend this summer... ...playing Sonic games. Maybe once I finish Persona... Uh, like, I'll dedicate one day a week, like, maybe Sonic Sundays or something like that, I'll call it. Uh, I need to make this bigger, don't I? How do you... Oh my god! How do you climb down a ladder? How hard is it to climb down a ladder, Chip? Okay, so that's it. That's it. It's maximum, is it? Well, that sucks. Best let's play that game because it's a bunch of genuine Sonic fans playing the game very shortly, so it wasn't the big game to trash on. But does that mean that they are discover like does that mean that uh, like do they go into it with an open mind or do they go into it with crushing do they come out of it with crushing disappointment? Because I'm not sure I want to watch Sonic fans get crestfallen, you know? I've experienced enough of that in my life already. One that I'm really interested to go back to is Sonic Heroes, because I loved that game as a kid. I loved it. You know? And I've heard very, very few people say anything good about it. Is this thing just stuck here now? No, I just have to pull it out. I mean, the day's almost over anyway, but once again... Actually, is that, is that as high as it goes? Is that of any use whatsoever? No, it's not. What on earth am I doing with this thing? By the end, it becomes primal screams of joy as they finally finish level that was stuck on forever. That sounds pretty good. I feel like I should go back and give Black Knight another go, because I think once I, once I rolled credits in two hours, I was, I was just kind of gutted that the game was over in two hours and I feel like there's probably more to that game that I didn't get enough time to appreciate because the game's soundtrack is incredible. I genuinely think it's one of the best uh, modern Sonic soundtracks out there. Um, but uh, I just didn't spend enough time with it. I I've spent more time listening to the soundtrack than I have actually playing the game. At one point, the commentary devolves exclusively into a hush monotone chat of the lyrics of Man Down Under. Uh. See, see the guy that sings uh, I Come From A Land Down Under? Uh, he's genuinely one of my favourite songwriters. His name is Colin Hay. Uh, he's Scottish, even though um, Men at Work were an Australian band. Um, and his solo songwriting. You might know him as the uh, the, uh, the a busker with the acoustic guitar and scrubs. He is a phenomenal singer-songwriter. Cannot recommend his work enough. Uh, the day's almost over, so I guess I'm just looking for more trash. Any more trash? Let's go deal with Sandal Guy, because he's always got trash, because he's a lazy bastard. I can't bring... I can't bring the ladder onto the rug, which is kind of dumb. Also, I wonder how the family feel about having this like five-foot ladder just standing there in the middle of their right in the middle of their living room. 
because it just gets left there, you know? You go in to recharge, you come out at night, it's still there, so do they just, do they walk around it? Do they just not care? So many questions about this family. Uh, Jimmy Copter. Five more happy points. They don't even pick up their trash, of course they don't move the ladder. Touche, yeah. To be your bold, do you need some quiet time with good old television? No. That's the last thing I need. Unless it involves quietly torturing you, like the scene from Casino Royale. Where I strap you to a chair and hit you over the head. Great work out there. Let's adjust your happy point total. Come on, come on, top 100! 90! Top 100! Thank you, I am the greatest! Well, I mean I'm not, I'm the 90th greatest! We're making it into the top 100! Sit yourself to send you a special gift, a brand new bonus battery! Stop spaffing all over my house! Your battery power went up to 160! Hooray, I get another 20 seconds! It's been a really tiring day, so I'm going to turn in relatively early. We'll have this for falling asleep back there, though. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, Catnip, have a good night. Uh, I, I'm sorry if my uh, if my abusing telly uh, gives you some weird dreams, but thanks for stopping by. It's so funny how David's malice for telly knows those minds, but Morgana gets by relatively unscathed. I mean, Morgana annoys me too, uh, telling me to go to bed a lot, but... Uh, yeah, Morgana hasn't made me want to threaten him with a gun yet. Uh, especially in a game in which Ryuji is a jackass and Yusuke is a perv. Um, it's kind of, you know, Morgana is not the worst character in that game so far. Morgana also does not steal your money by dragging you 10 feet. Uh, Fangs makes an excellent point. Whereas Telly is a robin bastard. Also, Morgana doesn't spaff all over my house and leave me to clean it up. I mean, look, Telly's done it again and then he's spinning round like a lunatic. Like he's like he's he's so pleased with himself, isn't he? Look at look at this. Look at this guy. Just if you're ever going to become super jubilable, you'll need some advice. Namely mine. I don't need your advice. Morgana is not the worst character in the game so far was the correct way to play. <laughs> to cross small gaps, use the Chibicup tear. Oh my god, and now you're patronising me? I figured that out hours ago. Really, all you have to do is press A. That makes you fly horizontally for a little while. While well, you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Yes. So you're still audible when it plays these fanfares, it gets loud. <laughs> It's, I mean, my desktop audio that's recording the game feed is already, like, half the volume it normally is. Uh, just this, this game has a weird audio balance. Like, the title screen music is one of the loudest things I've ever heard. It's like, it's rivaling Sonic Adventure 1 for loud title screen music. And Sonic Adventure 1 can cause earthquakes with its title screen music. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's very strange. I'll maybe turn up my microphone a little bit because we can never have enough uh, telly abuse and then I'll turn down the desktop audio because we don't really need to hear uh, telly simlish too much. Fanfares are also just way loud compared to the rest of the game. Yeah, what was the, um, uh, what was it, was it in, um, it, it was, uh, in Banjo-Tooie, it was, um, it was, uh, Mumbo Jumbo's chanting when he cast a spell was the loudest thing in the world as well, wasn't it? Ecom bokum, ecom bokum, oh, oh. Right, what we all, what we doing now? I need to find more spiders. I need to kill more spiders. I need to get some more scrap. Where are the spiders? Give me the spiders. I want all the spiders. I want the spies and the doors.
I mean, it was Grant Kirkhope just going nuts as mumbo jumbo, so he probably made it loud just so that, you know, it's like, this is my voice, I want to make sure it's the loudest thing in the game. Because let's not forget, Grant Kirkhope, of course, was a heavy metal musician back in the day, so he likes things loud. By the way, if you want, um, if you want to hear one of the uh, the bands that Grant Kirkhope was in, uh, he was in a band called Little Angels. Um, they're a very good band from the early '90s, very good British rock band. Uh, they have a song called uh, "Too Much Too Young," which is one of my favourite rock songs. Um, and I believe Grant Kirkhope is one of the brass band in that song because he wasn't. Uh, he was in that. He was in that band, but he wasn't a guitarist. He was a tromboner. I want to say. Uh, possibly a trumpeter. Um, some really good stuff. Yeah, I'm hearing that in my headphones. There's like, uh, I mean, the game's the game's sound effects themselves aren't very high quality, but the actual sort of music is uh, is pretty cool. It's just it, the um, the stereo mixing is good. The sound balance in terms of the overall game is uh, good. It, it leaves a lot to be desired. Right, where the hell are we taking this uh, ladder now? What have we got left? We've got the money on top. That I can do with more money, I suppose. Uh, oh, hang on. I spy something on the shelf there. Okay, let's push it to the other side of the... Um, other, other side of the living room. No, let's not climb on top of it, Chip Rob. Come on. Push it. The Game Boy is particularly, like, I mean, this is yet another reason why Gen 2 is my favourite set of Pokemon games, but the Game Boy games have some really, really good music, considering the quality of the um, sound font that they're working with. Like, I think, is that even going to, oh my god, is that not even going to fit through there? Genuinely, I think, uh, yeah, that's not going to fit through there. Genuinely, I think that uh, New Bark Town from Pokemon Gold and Silver is one of my favourite pieces of Nintendo music. It's just a wonderful little flute piece and the fact that they got that out of the um, out of the Game Boy sound font I just think is amazing. Gotta keep pushing this. So I was planning on trying to finish this game by Thursday but given that it's now 10.30, I've been playing this game for two hours and I have made next to no progress. Oh, for God, come on, come on. Look at the amount of rug that you're getting caught on there. You, I spent 300 spiders on you. I, I killed a whole bunch of spiders to get you and you can't even get over a single rug, you pathetic. Gen 2 remakes are among my friends. I have not enjoyed revisiting the actual Game Boy games. Interesting. I mean, I'd be curious to hear if, um, I mean, maybe for Smash to Pieces you could do like a, like a bonus episode on Pokemon Crystal or Pokemon Gold and Silver. Because I feel like you've played through the entire game to get your squads for, um, for Stadium 2. I feel like that would be a nice quick bonus episode that you could put out and just keep in the archives. Such a weird kind of rage, the carpet rant. <laughs> What can I say? I have no idea where more spiders spawn. I th I'll try the foyer, but we're gonna try and get this um, uh, shelter. I think, oh, I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, you, you can, that's what I'm saying, keep it in the archives. Wait until there's a lull. Like, wait until you're in the middle of another super long game that doesn't lend itself to, um, to bonus, to, uh, like, like, multiple parts. Um, and just, just, you know, fire out, like, in the middle of, I don't know, Thousand Year Door or, uh, something like that. Wind Waker, maybe. But I still think that it would be good to do, because you have, you've basically played another game for the podcast, so, you know, you might as well. And then you've just got one in the can for whenever you need it. Especially because it's no more work for Peter because you you edit the um the bonus episodes yourselves. 
Oh, hang on. What's that? No. Oh. Joe Biden says the US will have enough vaccine supply for every American by the end of May. Interesting. That'd be good. Uh, where's this portal into the underworld? It's, 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 I'm not going to get it, am I? It's, it, the, the ladder's not high enough. You may or may not have given up on Crystal. Yeah, fair enough. So, did I just push this ladder all the way over here just to find that it's not tall enough? I think I did. Even high enough. Oh no, that's I, I'm pushing it to the wrong place. That's what I'm doing. But I need to find a uh, find a charging port, quick. I still. Why the hell I named a magmar bird thing? I mean, magmar is um like a it's like a fiery duck, isn't it? So. Oh, I need to go back. Um, Pokemon Crystal is the only Pokemon game that I have actually 100%ed. It's the only Pokemon game in which I got all 251 Pokemon. I think I got 150 in, uh, in blue at some point, but I got 251 in Crystal. And then I stopped playing Pokemon after Ruby. Apart from Heart Gold, obviously. I think, yeah, maybe, I, I still think that, I, I would love to hear uh, you guys, your thoughts on Gen 2, because it's one of the few generations that doesn't get a look in uh, during Smash to Pieces, so yeah, maybe, maybe at some point finish off Crystal and then record a bonus episode and then just keep it in the can for when you're sort of in the middle of a few non-Pokemon games. After Fire Red, obviously. Because yeah, Gen 2 will always be my favourite gen. Oh my god, I'm so close. Please, please, can I get can I jump over there? Please. Nope. Nope, I do the slow long slow float down of shame. You have a Suicune named Airbud because it turns out Suicune can learn fly. I mean, it's a legendary, so yeah. I guess, well, yeah, it, that makes sense because anytime you face it in the wild, it get it, it it you know sods off, and it flies to like another route on the other side of the map, and then you've got to spend two hundred more hours trying to catch the damn thing over there. Is this literally is a? No, okay, so that is literally as high as it goes. So at the moment, it seems like my living room ladder is pretty piggin useless. Because it doesn't get high enough to reach that frog ring. And I've got up to the top of pretty much every shelf there is. I'm gonna charge up ahead outside. Octillion named C Bud. <laughs> The last time I think I watched um, a playthrough of uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver was Twitch Plays Pokemon. When uh, after, after they beat Pokemon Red, they started up a playthrough of, I think it was Crystal, actually. And, um, and when they got to, uh, when eventually, amazingly, Twitch, playing po Twitch Plays Pokemon got to Mount Silver and faced Red, the team that Red had was the squad that uh, they'd beaten the Elite Four with in, um, in Twitch Plays Pokemon Red. It was such a wonderful little uh, thing for the, uh, for the um, hacker of that game to do. Because uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon had, um, they had a Pidgeot that they named Bird Jesus because it seemed to have a miraculous ability to win every battle. Um, 
I think in um, in Crystal they had a Feraligator named Laser Gator because they uh, they um, they named it like LZR or something. I can't remember. But I want to go back and I want to relive Twitch Plays Pokemon because that was an incredible. I think it was about like a week and a half in 2014. It's one of those incredible, um, like spontaneous things that can only happen once and never happen again. And I remember being really, uh, <laughs> I remember watching live when they beat the Elite Four because it happened at like 7.30 in the morning, my time. And I remember like cheering them on, just randomly watching over breakfast as they beat the Elite Four and thinking, wow, every single American is going to find out that Twitch Plays Pokemon beat the Elite Four while they were asleep. Channel, yeah, the chat, yeah. I, I mean, it was, a, it was a fad and... I mean, once you do it once, once you, I mean, what, once you do it once, you do Crystal, and again, Crystal, Gold, Silver, and Crystal are the only true sequels that the um, that the Pokemon games ever really had. I, I mean, I, I suppose Black Two and White Two technically, but in terms of having sixteen badges and in terms of having uh, the the previous generation in it, it's the only one really. And so once you get to the end of the sequel and you meet the protagonist of the first game who has the uh, the squad from the first Twitch Plays Pokemon, I think you've peaked. And yeah. There are memes every day about America waking up to see what Europe did overnight. Oh. It was just, I remember like there was an article in it. Did I not do this? I didn't, wow, I didn't do this, uh, this underworld. Um, there was even an article in one of the British newspapers, I can't even remember which one, I think it was like the Metro or the Times or something, where they did a full page article on Twitch Plays Pokemon and all the memes associated with it. It was, like, was, wasn't there a day where they accidentally released their Charmander because they couldn't navigate the menus? And they, I think they spent something like 18 hours trying to cut down the bush outside Erica's gym. And you just saw all of Twitch just slowly going mad, just going CUT THE fucking TREE in all caps. It was the it was one of the funniest things. I loved it so much. And I have no idea what I'm doing here. I have no idea. I presume I can't walk on those leaves. Can I can I actually climb this web? No, I can't do anything to this web. Okay. No <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, it was the spontaneity of it, definitely. Okay, so you can actually climb down these things, okay. I just, I want, I don't know if there are any videos out there that document exactly what happened or whether someone archived all the VODs. Because I, I would legitimately just love to watch either a highlight reel or just watch the, um, the entire thing unfold. I really hope someone archived it somewhere. Is this thing? Can't pick it out of the ground, whatever it is. Oh yeah, this guy wants water, doesn't he? Still don't have any way to give him water. I've got a cup, but the only thing I can use the cup for is protecting myself from the uh, from the Eggman Empire. Have I been over here yet? Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, I know, I'm dying. Let's head back. Oh yeah, the whole democracy anarchy thing. I think that was put in because they got to Giovanni's gym and they couldn't handle Was it Giovanni's gym or was it the um was it the sliding panels in the Team Rocket Hate HQ where too many people were trying to go in too many different directions and they just could not find a way to get through the sliding the sliding tile puzzle. Something like that. But I loved the sort of the creator of it trying to, you know, not remove the fun while actually making sure that people could progress. How the Start 9 progress, yeah. I do remember the Start 9 stuff, because there, there was like a day or two where it just wasn't fun to watch because you were just getting people that were just actively throttling the game. But it's, it, yeah, I think that I would genuinely read like academic papers about the sort of social the social experiment and what it means and what it, what it shows about society and about humanity. Because it, it, for, for something so sort of pointless and fun and pathetic, 
It was incredible. Okay, so that visit that visit out to the um, garden was pretty useless. Although we do have enough money to charge up uh, Chubby Robo to 20% now, although I don't know if that actually is going to do anything whatsoever. I think uh, in the next day I need to either visit the basement again or visit the um, uh, the kitchen or the foyer, try and venture outside of the living room, because I think with even with the ladder I think I've got everything I can in the living room at this point. Unless I can pose for the dog, would the dog do something if I pose for it with the um, with the, uh, with the suit on. Right now, the Giga Battery has about 1,000 kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? Yes. 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 moolah. How many kilowatts will you charge? 1,000. We'll give it 1,000 kilowatts. Yeah, like I genuinely feel so. There's um, there's a, a science slash comedy night in London called An Evening of Unnecessary Detail, and they have on people can go on there and talk about anything they want. And I feel like I could do a pretty good presentation on Twitch Plays Pokemon, but there is so much to it that I don't think I could fit it into the ten slash fifteen minute slot that they that they allow. But I feel like it would be great fun. The Giga Battery has charged two thousand kilowatts. Stop spaffing all over my house. Why are you the way that you are? Well, I like I like the fact that um yeah, I like the fact that the crowd could choose. <clears throat> like the the crowd could choose whether to do anarchy or democracy rather than someone arbitrarily choosing for them, they could move it. So the collective hive mind could decide, no, we need to we need to get through this. Because at this point, you obviously want the, mo the majority of the game to be anarchy, but there are some points where you think, no, we need to work together if we're going to actually progress in this, rather than just throwing everything at the wall and see what happens. Are there actually more things in the foyer? No, there's still the Eggman Empire, who have been saluting now for about two days. Can I talk to you? Before the time runs out. Hello. Are you the robot that breached our perimeter? Yes. Well, feed me a depth charge and call it a biscuit. Excuse me? Very impressive. Not bad for a pencil neck robot. I mean, you say pencil neck, but I don't think I have a neck. Wait, does Twitch Plays Pokemon literally only get three viewers these days? Oh my god. It's kind of sad. I mean, right now I've got four. Does that mean that I'm more popular than Twitch Plays Pokemon? That doesn't seem right. Just don't let it go to your scrap metal head. You aren't half the robot that Giga Robo was. Well, yeah, because his name was Chubby Robo. Not even half of half the robot. Or half of that. Ha! You seem nice. That thing in the corner there. Hovers around a hundred, but most of that is lurkers. Okay. Is that literally just a seat? Way to go! I think we can call that a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. There's the Zelda cockerel again. <laughs> Oh, good morning. Let's adjust your happy point total. It'll be nothing, because I've done nothing. Your Chibirin King has gone from 90 to 78. Oh, we actually did... Okay. 
In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 360 more happy points. Oh my god. Get out there and earn more happy points. I know you'll make it to Super Chibiro Bowl. Stop spaffing all over my house! How many times do I have to tell you? How many times do I have to shoot you in the face? Do you even have a face? They were a better salty bet than salty bet. I don't know what that means, sorry. It's a reference I don't get. Hang on, I want to see if there's something new in the shop, because maybe now that I've bought a ladder, I can buy like upgrades for the um for the ladder, maybe. What? Chubby roll whisper. Wait, I can buy another battery? I'm um, doing that. Screw Chubby Robo. We're buying ourselves another battery. Is there anything else in the recyclotron? Kitchen ladder, foyer ladder. Damn it, so I need another. An automated machine that has CPU versus CPU max is running in the and you can bet fake money. Alright, okay. So basically like spectator mode. Time me on. 22.49. It's already 10 to 11. God, I need to end the stream soon. I feel like we've done nothing. I feel like we have made zero progress and I'm actually rather annoyed about that. How do you find more spizors? I need more spizors in order to get the foyer ladder in order to get upstairs. Oh, oh. Seems all I had to do was say their name twice. Hooray, we have enough for the fire ladder. Let's go do that immediately. Let's actually try and make some progress with the story. You could vote more moves the Pokemon would use. The more money you had, the more weighted your vote was, so it wasn't pure gambling. Okay. Give me the foyer ladder! Hey David, how you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just abusing my uh, little telly friend here and uh, buying really expensive and really impractical ladders. How, uh, how are you doing? Not mine, it's about 100k each in the match and see who could throw the hardest. Hey Dan! Hello! How, was your, how were your streams tonight? Welcome to uh, welcome to Chibi Robo, uh, who is a house robot. Sadly, not in the realm of Sergeant Bash or Matilda. You should be working. Yeah, I should be working too, but I'm kind of broken at the moment. You're watching Royal Flush. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, let's go and go upstairs. Oh, fun trivia games are the best. They're better than unfun trivia games. Uh, I normally host a lot of those. Uh, is this the foyer? Let's see if this is the foyer. the foyer. Let me stand next to your foyer. Oh, but the ladder can't go on the rug. So how am I supposed to use the ladder to get up the stairs? The stairs are on the rug. Oh my god, the entire house is made of ghastly colours. Honestly, if you haven't seen this, um, uh, you failed a few times in PW yesterday. Oh god. Well, I hope you saved often. Um, if you haven't seen Chibi Robo before, basically, uh, Chibi Robo has been employed by a family with no taste. Uh, their entire house is a mix of browns, greens, blues, and purples, and oranges. I mean, look at that wallpaper. Look at the... Look at the stained glass roof with a 
a, a big hole in the roof? Sure. Okay, let's just see how high this thing can get. Okay, well that nearly killed me. Uh, do I have an outlet? Oh the, oh, the outlet's on the other side of the room. Of course it is. Verging on Grand Design. Grand Design's madness, yes. Because either, one of two things, either this family saw this house like this and thought, hmm, yeah, that definitely is, that's, that's for me, I like that colour scheme. Or they bought this house and then spent an awful lot of money making it into this colour scheme. And I can't decide which is worse. Because if it's the former, it implies that someone else built this house and that there are two people out there or two families that have this game. I mean, look at the door. Yeah. To be fair, I live in a house that is almost almost exclusively white plain walls. At the moment. You can't plug in from there. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to climb the ladder. You could do with an interior design. They could, be you could do with a lot more than that. I need, I need my helicopter. Go, go, gadget, copter. Look, it's... Oh, yeah. Um, their daughter also dresses like a frog. I think the uh, the colours of the house have driven her mad. She dresses like a frog and only speaks in ribbit. Free Rangers photo. Sure. Like there's anything else for me here? There's nothing for me here. Now, there is a portal to the underworld up there. Can I push this ladder around this doorstop? Let's give it a go. Can I push this thing at all, or will I constantly just pick up my plug by mistake? Time Lord robot. I mean, to be fair, this guy, this little chibi robot does travel in time because each day lasts 15 minutes. So, you know, he's moving at lightning quick pace compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, okay, cool. Up we go. He's using similar time dilation to Captain Olimar. He is actually, that's a very good point. The, well, the thing is about um, uh, the planet that Pikmin is set on, which is actually Earth, as we find out. Uh, the planet that Pikmin is set on, uh, the days only last 15 minutes because it is next to a giant black hole like an in interstellar. Um, so Olimar is actually on there and he ages 23 years every time he just steps down to the surface. So by the end of Pikmin 1, he's about, a uh, quick bit of maths, uh, 690 years old. And he looks good for it. He looks pretty good. Okay, let's head up the stairs at last. He put a comparatively huge photo in his head. You, if you saw, if you saw the number of things that Chibi Robo has put in his head, he has a bloody pocket dimension in there. He is, this guy is basically robot Mary Poppins. I would argue he's super slow. What he can do in 50 minutes actually takes a whole evening. That is also true. So either way, there's some wibbly wobbly, timely, timely wimely stuff going on. And yes, I did just say timely wimely. Oh, don't. Oh, close.
Okay, so we've got to try and climb up these stairs before my battery power runs out. Because annoyingly, uh, for those who just joined us in this game, Chibi Robo here runs on battery power and you lose battery power, which is effectively your health, for doing literally anything. For standing still, you lose battery power. For going for a walk, you lose battery power. Jumping upstairs, you lose battery power. Falling down without killing yourself loses battery power. Falling down and killing yourself loses battery power. What's down here? Anything? Oh, there's another portal to the underworld down there. Okay. Do I do that? Or do I go up here? I think we go to the portal, we get more money, is what we do. Down we go. He's the original source of the warp technology, which will be later used by Doom Guy. <laughs> I've never seen Doom Guy put a giant photo into his head, though. That's a lot of money. Is that is that enough money for the next battery? I don't think it is. So we need to try and find a little more during this day. We've still got still got about half the day left, so we've still got about seven and a half minutes. So that should be enough time to get up the stairs and see if there's anything up the stairs. He carries all his guns at once, including the BFG 9000. That's, that is very true. That's true of most first-person shooters, isn't it? Like, James Bond was doing that back in Goldeneye. He had the RCP-90, he had the, uh, the PP-7, he had, of course, the Clob, which is the worst gun in the game. By Miles. Which is quite funny, because one of the developers named it after himself. You didn't know that. The uh, the Clob in um, uh, Goldeneye is named after Ken Lobb, who was one of the developers. Uh, and it is the worst gun in the game. Which is quite funny. Love you to take off and get ready for Kingdom Hearts. Alright Matt, I'll, um, I'll swing by later. Um, have fun and uh, say hi to Ursula for me when you see her again and again and again and again. Thanks for stopping by, mate. Uh, what am I doing? I need to climb back up the ladder. Okay. So... I have got an early start at work tomorrow. I do want to try and make some progress in this game, so we might go for maybe a day or two more. But then I really have to stop for the night. And I'm kind of disappointed with how little progress we've made, because this game apparently takes you 12 hours, but... Uh, I'm now coming up into my 8th hour, and I feel like I've done very little. So this might end up being a 4-stream game, but it really shouldn't be. We'll see. Have you really faced Spyros every time I walk away from the stream? Yes, so... Uh, I complained about the fact that I hadn't found any spiders and I was getting really pissed off and then I went into the kitchen and literally got ambushed by them as soon as I said that. And then I killed enough of them to get the uh, the foyer ladder. And now here we are, making actual progress at 11pm. So yeah, uh, thanks. if you wouldn't mind just walking away from the stream like uh, a little more often, I'd appreciate it buddy. Look at me, actively telling my viewers to go away. That's how you get a following on Twitch. Tell your viewers to piss off. But please like and subscribe, and then piss off. Are you going to save? Of course I'm going to save. Five hours of in-game time. Very odd how the, um, uh... Because I've been going for two and a half hours today and like four and a half hours last week but we're only at five hours of in-game time i'm wondering if the pal version is uh slowed down somehow i can never remember how the pal versions of uh, games work in terms of the in-game timers now we've got 1100 we have enough for a new battery can I ride the car? Can I get in the car? No. What's the point of having a car? Literally. 
no one else can fit in that. Why else would you have a car like that? There's Jenny's room. Can I get into Jenny's room? Also, do I have to get another... Oh, there's another frog ring. Do I have to get another ladder for the upstairs? Are we on the landing now, I take it? If mine's can ride a motorcycle, Chibi should be able to drive that car. Yes! Jenny's room! We made it to Jenny's room. There are only ladders for the three rooms downstairs. What's in Jenny's room? Well, it seems like Jenny takes after her parents. Absolute layabout. Never cleans up after herself. What do we got? Crayon, frog ring, red shoe, squirter, snorkel and goggles, a D battery, and a green block. What earth is with all this stuff? Also, that's a lot of pink. That is a lot of pink. I'm choosing to believe this is Jenny of Only Connect. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she'd take kindly to uh, to that comparison. I actually have her number. I could text her and ask her. <laughs> um, that's a lot of pink. And I'll have you know that um, uh, I actually turned down the brightness on this from the last stream because it was a bit bright. So this could be even harder on the eyes. Also, world's tiniest piano. Welcome to Side Quest Central. Well, just when I said I wanted to uh, get through more of the plot, we've landed in the land of the side quests. Uh, Jenny is one of the producers on Only Connect, yes. Um, I obviously, I, I met her when I did the show and then met her again at the, uh, uh, the reunion uh, that they had in January of last year. Which was a really good time. Oh, G Jenny, clean up under your bed. Good God, girl. Having said that, I'm going to make so much coin from all this rubbish. Cookie box. Oh, my. You shouldn't be having cookies before bed, Jenny. Are you been sneaking cookies? You know that's bad for you. What's that? Green crayon. Don't know what that's for. Was she in that question in the Missing Vowels round? I think there was a question about uh, a Jenny in, um, in the Missing Vowels round a few weeks ago. I seem to remember that. Don't worry, plot is upstairs too. Okay. I mean, I'm just making bank right now. What earth is this thing? What the? Oh my god, there's a monster under the bed. Okay, legitimately quite scary. What on earth is that? Didn't I scare you? Yes. Oh, you're being nice. Thought you'd get a break from tombs. <laughs> Why is there hieroglyphics under the bed? Good question. Okay. Uh... So it seems like... Okay, so it seems like a... 
princess being scared by a ghost, a guy with a dying flower, and then that looks like, uh, I've already forgotten his name, the, uh, the guy that looks like Billy Hatcher, giving the flower to the princess. Unless it's backwards? No, no, he finds a flower, gives it to the princess, the princess is happy, she kicks off her shoe, and he is standing on top of the box. Sure. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest, thank you very much. And then, yeah, there's, um... I mean, those look like actual Highlander glyphs. There, there's the two reeds up there. Uh, one for the only Connect favourites. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's actually legitimately translatable. Because, yeah, cause I can see the two birds, the two reeds. I wonder if that actually translates to something. I mean, it'd be amazing if it did, considering this is a Japanese game. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we've got a couple of seconds left, so let's clean up more of Jenny's crap. Are we going to have to... Oh, it's a dead flower. Okay, so now got... Okay. What is this? this? Is this a thing as well? Is this going to scare me? No, it's just a... Dan, the picture researcher, Bob the Runner. They weren't that, but viewers who don't watch the credits closer were picture. Oh, look, it's the red, it's the shoe from the hieroglyphs. So do we have to give the, um... Okay, so I found two things that we can sit on now. No, I can't, I can't jump to that. Oh, camera, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, camera! Time sure flies when you're making folks happy. Time sure flies when you're cleaning up crap. Great work out there. Your chibi ranking is still 78. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shop telly. Out of my brain on the 550. Let's buy myself a new battery. Chibi battery. Chibi battery, what does that do? I hope it makes me last for longer. Thank you for your visit. Chibi battery! You've upgraded! Keep it up, Chibi Robo! And stop spaffing all over my house! Uh, yeah, sorry about that, my bad. How many times do I have to tell you to stop spaffing all over my house? To back up when you die, I thought you had one. I thought I did too. Unless maybe I wanted to get one and then uh, I didn't have one. I, I, yeah, I, I remember someone mentioning that to me before and maybe we thought... Wait, they're consumable? Oh my god, so I have to buy? So it's an extra life, essentially, is what it is. Oh my god. Yeah, there are some things about this game that I'm not a fan of the choices that they make. But oh well, let's have a look in the kitchen. I think we'll do one more cycle and then we'll call it for the night. Any more spiders? Use the first one you killed yourself increasing the ladder. Oh, is that what that was for? Well, that sucks. No more spiders anymore. No more spiders anymore. Give you 20 more battery after you died. Okay. Back in the foyer. 
Audio level still alright? You can still hear me okay? Or, and you can still hear the music alright? Then you just climbed up and killed yourself by jumping off the ladder anyway. Yeah! That sounds like me. Uh, so we've got plants. Basket over there. Mm. No, let's climb up. Let's keep going up. I want to sneak into Jenny's room while she's asleep. Scare the crap out of her. Still sound fine to me. Good to know. Still sounding fine. <laughs> hey, I'll take any compliments I can get them. Okay, more power to you. Don't charge around too much. Something, something, current pun and <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good to talk to you, Dan. Thanks for plugging in. Th thanks for uh, thanks for um, being a bright spark. And I got nothing more. Thanks for being electricity. I don't know. <laughs> Have a good night, mate. Oh my god, Chib Rob, will you just jump these stairs, please? Hey, look who it is. It's Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla's crying. Why is Godzilla crying? Can I steal your teddy bear? Hello, Chibby. What a load of puns. There you are, MK. Welcome to the club. You have been infected with David-19. 900 moolah for a 20 point spare battery, but the Giga Charger takes a thousand to get a thousand. How much energy does Chibi Robo use? Too much. You came all the way up here because you heard Jenny crying, right? Jenny says thank you. Wait, you're not riveting! You're not riveting! What's going on, Jenny? Sunshine just gave you. Oh, so she talks normally when she's channeling through the bear. Okay. Extra level of weird. You got 50 moolah. Jenny says she's upset because mum and dad aren't getting along. Mum won't let dad sleep in their bedroom. I want to go into mum's room, but I can't move since I'm a stuffed animal. Mum locks the door at night, but she leaves the door open all day. Thanks for the hint. So I guess I have to come back during the day, pick up this stupid bear and take it into mum and dad's room. I'll have to remember that for next time. Okay, Jenny's room's still open. What's in here? Are all the toys gonna have come to life? Yes, they are! You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. I don't remember the lines. Oh, pal said, yeah, you've got a friend in me. Wait, why aren't all the toys coming to life? We can climb up the table in the middle. Are you just destroying flowers and leaving them there? Okay, so it looks like we've got some kind of Russian dolls here. Can I pick you up? No, I can walk all over you though. That's nice to know. Okay, so we've still got most of the night. Uh, 
There's only one charging point in this whole room. More garbage. God, Jenny, let it clean up. That's a squirter from a doctor's kit. It's probably Jenny's. Looks like you can pull up water with it. Oh, we've got something we can get water with. We can go and help the frog in the garden. Then you can spray it on all sorts of things. Like what? Really? It, use, it costs energy to use that as well? Okay, can I jump down please? Can I jump down please? I want to jump down please. You really have to be balancing right on the edge of that thing. That's got to be like a couple of pixels between being able to safely get down the rope and just fall into your death. That's really precise. I feel alive! So, what on earth can we do here now? We can squirt people. First thing I want to do is squirt water in Telly's face because water and televisions don't tend to mix very well. So that'll be fun. Can I climb up here? No, I can't. Yeah, I can climb up there. Oh, might I be able to get into there? That's an interesting thing. Let's go into the next portal into the underworld. What's behind here? Is there anything behind here? Oh, blah! Top. Come on. Climb up the thing. Climb up the thing. Climb up the thing. Thank you. Don't fall off the thing. But uh, climb up the thing. Climb up the thing. Climb up the thing. Climb up the thing. See, Jimmy Robo's very obedient. You just have to tell him to do things about nine times and then he finally does them. Okay. Uh, hope that this is an open window. It is. Go. New portal into the underworld. Give me all your money. Five hundred and one, sure. Ow. Nothing else here, is there? Nothing at all. Not even some crumbs. Okay, sneaky thing in the back here. What's this? It's the leg of the bed. As much as I'd like to, like to try, I don't think we can fit that into our head. Can we talk to Mr. Mummy again? Portals are starting to give more money. Are they? I hadn't noticed. I guess we're further into the game, though. Hello! Can I be your friend? My only friend right now is a floating television, and I hate his guts. He spaffs all over my house. Safety is an illusion, but my shoebox under the bed makes me feel safe, day or night. What's that? I forgot. Let me introduce myself. I am Mort. Mort! 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 Nice to meet you, Mort! Will you listen to my story? Sure. It's about the other night. What the... Oh my god, the teddy bear's a psycho! Oh no, stop, stop, you'll break it! Oh my god, the hieroglyphs under the bed were done by him! She lost her shoe. That is what transpired. 
Oh my god, the teddy bear is a psycho. That just... The lovely Princess Pitts hasn't left her castle since then. So, um... That just gives me Toy Story 3 vibes. And also, a I don't know why, but a terrifying teddy bear kind of... I mean, first of all, it's absolutely terrifying. We've, uh, we've established that. But, um... How about that? Two terrifying puns in one stream. Um, but still, there's something about, like, renegade angry teddies that just... <laughs> Do we need to get an OK David emote as well? Like an OK Boomer one, but just for me? I mean, I don't know when you get three emotes, but uh, I'm three subs away from getting my second, so... Yeah. Her bare foot causes her terrible embarrassment, I'm sure. Why has she got ugly, ugly feet? I really want to see them now. She got like like six toes or something. I'm very worried about her. If you find the red shoe, please let me know. I found the red shoe. I found the red shoe, mate. Uh, mate, I found the red shoe. Well, fine then. Screw you. I told you I found the red shoe and you don't care. I'm keeping the red shoe. It's mine. There for feet or anything, Mr. Sanders. Is, I don't blame her for being bad. Yeah, that is true. Like it. Can I climb up the plant? Probably can't. Something under the thing. Seems like this. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Yellow crayon and purple crayon. Yellow crayon is. So I can't fit under there. Uh, oh, I can climb up the drawers. Okay, well, we've got seven minutes. Let's go. Let's go talk to uh, Mort, and let's tell him that we finally are the red shoe. Hello, Mort. How are you doing, Mort? Did you find the red shoe? I already told you that I found the red shoe, but you wanted your beauty sleep. You clearly need it. Yes! Hurry up and give it to Princess Pitts! I can't go into the castle because my body won't fit. Another one of life's little disappointments. I put a flight of stairs in front of the castle. Go ahead and use it. Hey! Look at that! We're actually making progress again. Once again, because this, this happened at the end of the, um, of the last stream, it's only after 11pm at night that I actually start making progress and it makes me want to keep playing the game. This more crap. She's been drawing on the floor. Toothbrush! That's how they get you. Oh my god, four happy points. That means that I only need 356 more to get the next battery. That means that I only need to clean 70, no, 45 more pictures in order to get the, um, Actually, I should probably charge. Don't know what she's gonna do. Is that is that another? Oh, that's the, that's the, yeah, that's not the um, battery that I need. <laughs> You've recharged forty-four times. Yes, I am going to say. Again, uh, Chibi, not very good at cable management. Oh, I take it, yeah, this is going to be some kind of puzzle, isn't it? 
We've got to find our way to the top through these maze of doors. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to get my battery. Oh my god! Chib Rob, you absolute munter! Come on, Chib Rob, let's do this properly. Double A battery. Yeah. Uh, they don't give out tokens at Alcoholics Anonymous anymore, they give out batteries. Okay, we'll go to the left here. Where do I go from here? Can I pull this out? I can! Can I chibi copter over here? No, I can't. Can I climb up to the next one? No, I can't. Oh, come on, you're supposed to climb onto the pin? Really? Stealing money from Jenny's drawers. Oh, really? I'm already out of charge? Oh my god. I do not like the battery mechanic in this game. I literally charged before I started climbing the thing. Okay. And hey, I'm allowed to steal money from Jenny's drawers because, I mean... Telly is running a protection racket. Telly is holding me hostage and taking my money and spaffing all over my house. So I need to steal money in order to keep up the payments, otherwise he's going to continue spaffing all over my house. And I'm tired of cleaning up spaff and selling it for money, because he just takes it all. Honestly, the, 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 the copter takes up so much energy. What's this thing? I don't know. This is where you insert a, a AA battery. Well, what a coincidence. I have one of those because I got my, uh, I got my, you know, 50 days. What's that do? Interesting. Also, that was completely in the left ear. That put me off, that really sort of threw me off for a second, because I was looking over there and going, is there something in my room? That was completely, that, that drumming was right in the left speaker and not in, at all in the other one. It was right in the left, yes I know. But I love the fact that this guy moves completely and utterly silently. This is the most stealthy clockwork soldier I've ever seen. Do I have to climb on top of him? I do. And then do I... I take it I have to float to the, uh, the lower one there. Okay, steady, steady, go! Nice. Already below 100. This is the weirdest designed doll's house. This is the weirdest looking and weirdest design of furniture I've ever seen. If you saw something like this in a shop, you would never buy it. And also, I'm running out of day. So I've got to get to the top of this before I run out of day. And energy. There better be a charger at the top of this, I tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, we're already, like, above Jenny's height. These drawers are far too small to actually put anything in, as well. This is where you insert a D battery. Do I have a D battery?
Oh my god, do I not have a D battery? C battery, D battery, damn it! Where am I supposed to? Okay, so I'm guessing I've got to find some way to climb up Jenny's bed and get across to those cupboards over there before I can complete the rest of the the rest of the doll's house. Can you imagine more trying to get it through any of this himself? Yeah. I mean, he must have done because he realised that he was too big to fit through the door. Oh no, hang on, the door was at the bottom, so yeah. Okay, well, we know what we're doing next time. Are you going to save? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. So, we've only got maybe a minute or so left. So, the D battery... The hell is the D battery? I don't see it. Oh my! Wait, the D battery's up there. So what the hell am I supposed to do? A battery's in. Climb up. Are you supposed to? No, because you need to, I'm guessing that you're supposed to move the minute hand of the clock in order to make it horizontal so that you can climb up the ladder. But the D battery is up the top there, so... There's another path you could have gone after the guard. Oh my god, you're right, there were two doors. Damn it! Well, we don't have the time today. Oh well, it's probably time I stopped anyway, because I do have to get to bed. But I feel like we're finally making progress. We're probably not going to finish this game on uh, Thursday. As much as I would love to, I'd love to be able to get this game over within three streams, but that's probably not going to happen now. Oh, there she is. Hello. Oi! I have your shoe! Yeah. Alright. Chibirabo! Do you need some quiet time with good old television? No, that sounds tellifying. That sounds very disturbing. I don't want to be with you. Stop spaffing all over my floor. Next week we'll be because you have a whole new room to explore. Yes. Rather than what was effectively at the start, that felt like grinding to me. Just trying to get enough stuff. Your Chibi ranking has gone from 70 to 73! Yeah, it's going to be minuscule now, isn't it? 332 more happy points. Okay. So yeah. Well, we got 20% of the way through to, uh, to activating Chubby Robo. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed at how little progress I've made, but at least we did make it upstairs and we did make it into Jenny's room. And we did s discover a little bit of the plot about the fact that apparently Jenny's teddy bear is evil. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, pull up some uh, music to end with. Um, so, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I will be back on Thursday with more Chibi Robo. Um, like I say, we're probably not going to finish with, uh, we're, we're probably not going to finish Chibi Robo on Thursday now, which is sad, but um, who knows, maybe I'll do, just move it into the, um, uh, maybe I'll just keep going into next week and we'll, uh, we'll start something else next week after that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm still, I'm still enjoying it. There's still a few, a few things that I'm uh, uh, not too happy with, um, the health system being the main thing. Um, but yeah, no, I'm still it's still a it's still a pretty good time. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Um, 
uh, yeah, that's the other thing is that on um, on Thursday, of course, we have the uh, the Sakurai presents uh, video. Um, unfortunately, that is happening while I am at work, so I will not be able to live stream it. Um, and just to be safe, I think I'm just going to record a reaction to it off stream when I get home at like 6 p.m. something like that. So that's like four hours after it's on. Um, so I might be a little late on Thursday because I want to watch that first, and then we can talk about it afterwards. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see how things go. I'm hoping to be back on at 7.30 on Thursday, but I will keep you guys informed on my Twitter, which uh, if you don't know, um, same username as my Twitch. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to uh, end it there. And uh, what shall we, what music shall we end with today? Uh, I mean, I started with, um, <laughs> I started the stream with uh, a set of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog dance remixes, so I feel like we should end with that. So um, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll end with uh, we'll end with some Hydro City uh, dance remix because why not? Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday with more Chibi Robo. I'll be back on Friday with more Persona Five. Until then, have a good week, and I shall uh, see you next time. Cheers.